Welcome to Cannabis Science Pub. Our theme for this evening is genetics. We have some really exciting and fantastic speakers who have come out tonight to share their uh, exquisite knowledge about cannabis genetics with us. My name is Bethany Sherman, for those of you who don't know me already. I am the founder and CEO of OG Analytical, our local cannabis testing laboratory. Cannabis Science Pub, I'm just going to pull this thing off here. Cannabis Science Pub is our free monthly educational event that we put on here in Eugene last Tuesday of every month, always free, uh, brought to you by OG Analytical. And we really developed this program to help kind of bridge the gap between the know and the desire to know. We learn a lot of really good information in our everyday work, and we meet a lot of people who have really amazing information. And so we, want to, we decided it was very pertinent for our industry to build a platform where we could um, uh, bring all of the community together to, to learn about all the things that we learn in our everyday work. Every session includes uh, trivia and prizes based on the theme. We do a legislative update to keep you all uh, up to date on what's happening in our legislative process. A lot of things are going on right now. So we have the Emerald Trade Alliance come every month for us. Um, they're back there at that table with the green tablecloth. Um, so they'll be giving us a, a little uh, heads up on what's happening in the legislation. And then we bring in uh, guest speakers, edu educational presentations uh, that are based on the theme for the night. And every uh, month we do a different theme. And then we close it up with the last hour of the event. If we get through all of our presentations in time, we'll be for networking. So it's just an opportunity for everyone to just mingle, get to know each other, share information and resources, etc. For those of you who are not familiar with OG Analytical, this is my shameless little plug here. Just one slide. Uh, we're a quality assurance laboratory based here in Eugene. We focus on regulatory compliance for the cannabis industry. We're locally owned and operated. We've been in business for about two years now. Um, and we come from a very strong background in regulatory compliance testing. So we've played a pretty significant role in uh, helping to shape the legislature even for cannabis testing in Oregon. And I feel like we've come quite a long way in the last two years. Uh, we've seen a lot of developments. We have a lot, of, a lot more uh, regulatory developments coming this year. Um, and I feel like we've, we've hit some great milestones in Oregon. I'm so proud. I'm so proud that we are doing this in Oregon because we have some of the most progressive laws for testing. We're gonna have the safest cannabis in the whole nation. Um, so that's, that's something that all of you can be proud of as well. A big, big thank you to our sponsors tonight. Uh, these guys help make sure this event stays free for all of us. Farm Fresh, um, got a big banner back there. Uh, um, Adrian and Charlene hanging out. If you have questions for them, they grow. Uh, and Charlene has been a wonderful help also. She's uh, been volunteering uh, for me uh, to help put this event on, also to help keep it free. TJ's Organic Provisions, a beautiful, beautiful dispensary off uh, Highway 99. Be sure to check them out. And then the Constant Gardener, of course, is a staple uh, sponsor of ours. Every month, they've helped us since the beginning. Um, before you go, you'll notice that there are surveys on each one of your tables. We also have additional surveys at our table in the back. Uh, we want your feedback on the event for tonight. We want to know how we did. We want to know what we could do to improve. We want ideas for additional sessions. What do you want to learn about? And how can we make this event the most valuable event that it could be for you? So we would really, really appreciate your feedback. Please take a few moments before you leave tonight to fill that out. It's just a few questions. Let us know how we're doing. Quick look at our agenda. We're going to start with our pub trivia and then our legislative update. I do have a a uh, few uh, pieces, new testing rules that I want to share with you. I introduced last month a uh, couple of the February and March testing changes that you guys should be aware of. And I just have a few more details I want to share with you in regards to that uh, tonight. And then I'm going to turn it over to the Emerald Trade Alliance to give us a general legislative update. And then we're going to invite our guest speakers up. We have Dr. Dennis Todd, um, 
biology professor at the University of Oregon, has joined us here tonight to talk about genetics, hybrids, and true breeding lines. And then we have Dr. Mowgli Holmes from Phylos Bioscience. He's gonna be uh, telling us a little bit about the Cannabis Evolution Project, um, their, the Phylos uh, Bioscience Cannabis Genome Tree that they're building. Uh, super excited about that. He's also got um, some additional genetics information he wants to tell us about. And then we have Robert Clark from the Bioagronomics Group uh, is, has flown here today, flew into Portland, and then drove down with, with Dr. Holmes to, um, to share some info with us tonight on genetics as well. He's gonna be presenting on cannabis today. How did we get here? And then for whatever time we have left, we'll open it up for networking. So at this point, I wanna invite the beautiful Miss Erica Winters up to do our pub trivia. Thank you so much, Bethany. Welcome to our trivia portion of tonight's Science Pub. And it is sponsored by Oregon's Constant Gardener, both the questions and the prizes. And I mixed it up a little bit tonight. So I wanted to share with you tonight's prize offerings. So we're starting with the ever popular beer koozie, OCG logo on the front, Nectar logo on the back. We've also got some green LED keychain lights. And this is really helpful in the indoor garden to check on your plants without interrupting the photo period. Also with the OCG logo, I have two of those. Next, I've got a patch and lighter combination from OCG as well for anybody who's really interested in patching up your gear. And lastly, for question number five, a glass jar with the THC molecule with the OCG logo on the front here. So those will be our prize offerings. Tonight, I'm gonna leave them at the base of the stage and invite you to come choose your prize from the bag. Tonight's topic, of course, is genetics. And it's a, a topic that I personally have never delved down. So I learned a lot creating the trivia questions tonight. And I'm really hoping that the experts uh, on our speaker panel tonight, Mowgli and Dennis and Robert, can help with any questions that may arise. Without further ado, question number one. All right, what is the difference between a gene and a genome? Any takers right back here? What's natural and what's created? There's definitely some weight to the latter half as far as defining a phenotype. I'm looking for something just a little more specific right over here. We're talking about dominant and recessive trains, uh, strains, and then the difference between gene. I'll take that answer, absolutely. Come up and get a prize at the bag at the front of the stage here. So in more technical terms, the difference between a gene and a genome. So genes are segments of DNA carrying the genetic information that shapes an organism's growth characteristics, and development. A genome, in contrast, is an organism's complete set of DNA. Genomes contain all the genetic information necessary to create and maintain a specific organism, where a gene is merely a segment of DNA. Thank you for your answer. Question two, what is the difference between a genotype and a phenotype? Way in the back here. That's exactly what I'm looking for, indeed. Thank you, please come up and get a prize, yeah. So the, the answer that he relayed was, uh, and, and I'm using UC Berkeley's definition here, so an organism's genotype is the set of genes that it carries. An organism's phenotype is all of its observable characteristics, which are influenced both by its genotype and by its environment. So that's exa exactly the answer we were looking for, thank you. All right, question three. What is the botanical term for a plant that has male and female reproductive parts on separate plants? Right over here in the bean. I, 
I heard hermaphrodite. Not exactly the answer I'm looking for. Right up front? Monetius is, um, so Monetius is the other half of the answer here. So I'll just repeat the question. Um, what is the botanical term for a plant that has the male and female reproductive parts on separate plants? Dioecious, you got it. Please come up and claim your prize. So the answer is dioecious. And of course, cannabis is my favorite dioecious plant out there. It's very rare in the plant kingdom that this is expressed. So it means you have a male plant and you have a female plant. Other examples in nature of this would include willow trees, ginkgo trees, kiwis. They're out there, but they're very, very rare. Just another incredible trait of the cannabis plant. Next question, F1 hybridization is the selective breeding of a plant by cross-pollinating two different parent plants, but what does the F stand for? In the vest right here? I couldn't quite hear. Did I hear filial? Absolutely, please come up and claim a prize from the bag here. So to go to our Latin roots here, Filial comes from the Latin words filius for son and filia for daughter. So filial literally translates to first children. I was hoping to stump you guys on that one. Nice work right up front. Next up, many different treatments have been tried over the years to produce feminized seeds. Name one chemical used in that treatment process. Right there. Colloidal silver? Uh, yes, I'll take that, absolutely. Please come up and win your prize. There are a number of chemicals that have been used over time to induce uh, feminized seeds. So silver nitrate, silver thiosulfate are some of the two more common. Colloidal silver is also used. I didn't include that on my list, but thank you for your answer. That definitely works. Gibberellic acid is very commonly used. Um, when you use a 50-50 blend of silver nitrate and silver thiosulfate, you get a mix called STX. And that's a concentrate that gets further diluted and sprayed on a female plant to induce pollination and feminized seeds. In addition to that, this is a fun one, wish me luck, amino oxavinyl glycine. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, cobalt chloride. So these are all chemicals that are used to basically stress the plant out. And other techniques that have been used throughout time include uh, tricking the plant by interrupting the photo period, withholding water, uh, inducing stress through extra fertilization. And I know some gardeners down in Northern California that actually drive nail spikes through the base of their plant to stress them out. So over the years, there have been a number of different ways in which this is achieved. The trick about feminized seeds though, at least what I've discovered in gardens, is that when you have a feminized seed, you're gonna get 99% female stock out of those seeds that you crack. But under stress, they're gonna have that potential to revert back to a hermaphroditic expression of that genetic. So there are pros and cons to working with feminized seeds. And that concludes our trivia portion for tonight. Thank you so much for playing. So Rob Clark just came up and gave me a copy of his book, Cannabis Evolution and Ethnobotany. It is signed on the inside for Cannabis Science Pub. Keep on keeping on from Rob in 2016. I wanna give this away to someone in the audience tonight. And I want, I wanna make it a drawing. And how you can enter the drawing is by filling out one of our survey cards. <laughs> so maybe wait until the end of the evening when you can actually give us some valid feedback. <laughs> um, and I'll prompt you at that point to go deposit your survey cards over at the OG analytical table on the end, and then we'll do a drawing uh, to find out who the winner, the lucky winner of Rob's book is. Um, So I wanna extend a really warm, warm thank you to Erica from Constant Gardener for continually being a, a valuable presence for us at Cannabis Science Pub for the continued support they have shown us and for always hosting our trivia. 